To anyone familiar with the series, you already know that Star Ocean is a little crazy. That being said, I love the series. So much so that before the second game came out as the remake, I decided, oh, well, I might as well go ahead and play the first game again. I played it once before a really long time ago, and, oh, well, it'd be really good to get caught up before the second game. And then the second game, the remake, came out. And I thought, well, I mean, I, got, I gotta play it. That's the whole reason I played the first game. It was to get prepared for this. I really liked it, and then thought, well, you know, I really liked the third game. That was actually the first one that I played in the series. Well, I mean, while we're at it, I might as well go ahead and play that one as well. Then I remembered once I finished that, well, I never really played the fifth one. I really bounced off of that one because of some reason or another. Gosh, it's been so long, who can say anymore? So I went ahead and played that one, and then thought... Well, I mean, I bounced off the fifth one, so I never actually even got to play the sixth game. So I went ahead and played that, and then remembered, well, I skipped the fourth one, so... Well, now seems like as good a time as any to play that, right? So that is what I am currently doing, is playing the fourth game. It was in the middle of playing the sixth game that my partner, perhaps jokingly, said to me, Well, are you going to do a retrospective on the series now? Yes. Yes, I am. As it turns out, I am going to do a retrospective. My first one, ever, so I don't really know what I'm doing. I have certainly watched plenty, but I'm going to give it the old college try. I'm going to cover several things in the series, certainly symbology. I think that is a very fascinating system, although it is perhaps hand-waved a lot, which I'll certainly cover. In addition to symbology, I'll also deal with symbolism. I know there's a lot of religion in the games, at least in one form or another, or addressed, or perhaps it's more appropriate to say spirituality, or determinism, or philosophy, or something along those lines. But primarily, the reason I'm recording this video is because I want to tell people what I'll be doing over the next six years while I record these games again, but I also want to know what you would like to see covered in a retrospective of the series. It will not be Blue Sphere, because I've never played that and don't have the means to, necessarily. So, that one's just going to have to be left out. I might pull some information from somebody else. But otherwise, is there a specific topic, a specific game that you really want to delve into? I'm going to get into all of them, but maybe a specific section, something that really speaks to you that you want to see covered. I would love to know that, because I know I've watched retrospectives and wished they had covered something. So, if you let me know, I will do my very best to include something. But of course I can't make any promises, because I may not be smart enough to be able to address the topic. Otherwise, in the meantime, I'm going to be doing some stuff here or there. I'm actually going to be doing a video comparing the Game Boy Advance version of Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories to the PS2 version and giving my thoughts on that. And I might do a gameplay video here or there because recording is just a little difficult currently. But otherwise, as I said, let me know if there's anything in particular you want to hear regarding the Star Ocean series. I'll do my best to cover it. And in the meantime, I'll see you in whatever video it is I decide to put out next.